Now I'm making it sausage again. And I'll cut it in half. Roll that top petal. This seems to be what most people have problem with. And you just roll that over until it sits onto the top one. I find by, I usually just hollow that out a bit so that when the cake rises in the centre it comes up level. If you've got a bit of batter on the outside you can take that away and mix that in. goes straight through and push that down in. And that's your hibiscus, you can leave it there, you can see. I like to use the disposable bags for this buttercream. So it's just the Italian meringue buttercream and the recipe is on the recipe page and you also have an instruction video on how to make it. Well worth the effort. As you can see it's light and fluffy but when it goes in the fridge it sits. So once you've done that, then just pinch the ends, push it up at the same time as you just pinch the end back. And you cut one. Rub the edges. First, if you find it's not curling enough, you can go around a couple of times. There's no set limit. But if you go too hard, you can petal number one and you wrap that around. Press it together so that you can't see um, the cone at all. When you look down, all you'll see is the twisting that you never flip it. You just use the one way. Um, all the creases and marks usually go to the underneath. This time you can get quite a good effect with using the other side. You can see the difference. So in this case, the top of it, it won't melt the chocolate. So we start off now just filling in. Any little areas need to make sure that you get the white chocolate down into them, in the eye, in the air, where there's just little uh, pieces of chocolate, of white chocolate, and down in between those lines of dark chocolate. 